The following video is intended to describe the SLEC error correction system in the M3 software, as well as provide a procedure for performing the SLEC calibration uh, on a standard encoded stage system. SLEC is a segmented linear error correction method uh, that requires a repeatable startup zero position uh, in order to align the correction map each time the system is started up. As such, a repeatable zero position must be determined by the system by crossing the reference marks and the axes to be corrected. In this case, a CNC homing routine is detecting the reference marks in the X, Y, and Z axis and applying the preset machine zero offset in the system. It's quite common that the origin of the calibration artifact to be used will not be located on the stage at the same zero position as your machine zero offset. And as such, a mapping offset is supported in the system. We'll describe that more when we come to that setup screen. Once the system has completed its successful homing, the first thing we should do is enter the M3 setup screen and verify that all error corrections are disabled in the system before proceeding. I've got my calibration artifact ruler placed on the stage. I'm gonna go ahead and select the simple crosshair, which I'll be using to probe the data that will be used to enter my correction information into the system. The SLEC is collected in one axis at a time. In this video, we will execute the SLEC routine in the X axis, but this procedure can be repeated for the Y axis as well, and the Z axis when using an appropriate calibration artifact. The first step in collecting your error correction is to align the error, the calibration artifact with the part coordinate system in the machine to ensure the data that is collected is correct. I'm gonna begin by probing a, a point at the origin position of my artifact. I'm going to zero the X and Y position of that point so I can collect a secondary point to skew my calibration artifact. You can use CNC go-tos to assist with positioning in the artifact or on a manual system, simply drive with the stage knobs to the desired position. I'm going to again use the simple crosshair to collect my second data point on my ruler. I'm going to use the skew measure skew function in the M3 software to align my grid using the first and second point as the parent features for my skew. Now that the system has been skewed, I can go ahead and remove the features from the feature list using the delete button so that only my origin measurement point exists in the system. I will now proceed to collect the rest of the calibration points on my artifact. For this example, I'm only going to collect three or four segments at five millimeter intervals on my artifact.
and one final position.